Together, we went to a rock many miles from the settlement, a rock sacred to the great ancestral python, Yarrabiri, which emerged here during the creation, the dream time. Tim, tell me about these paintings. What's, what's this one? A snake. Snake? A snake. Yarrabiri. Yarrabiri. Dreaming. From the dreaming time. Uh, dreaming. I'm to call Yarrabiri snake. Yeah. Is he like an ordinary snake? And now he's uh, really snake of dreaming. A spirit snake? A spirit snake. And where does he live? Oh, he lives in there. Where, down here? In this hole here. Is that hole down there? Yeah. There's a spirit in there, really. And nobody can see it. You've never seen him? No. The hole that's come out here needs to make uh, all the tracks we see uh, of his track. So you see his tracks? Yeah, that spirits of yeah. the Yarrabri snake in there. Yeah. yeah, and this place, you, why do you put this... Uh, this painting of it on what? this place. Well, the Yaribri that made the Lord uh, have a painting on this rock. The snake made the law that, that you had to. Yeah. Yeah. It's the worst snake in the world, the Yaribri. Yeah. They made the whole world. He made the whole world? Oh, yes. And what are these things alongside there? Uh? The man, we, black fella. There's a black fella. A black fella, he said, um, have the, the drawing on his uh, spirit rocks. The snake said that. You must put these drawings on the spirit box. Is yes. that right? Yes. And what's in here? That uh, children of the Yarrabri dreaming. Can I see him? Yes. And and this is what? Uh, Meanings. What's this? Meaning. Yeah. Walbury country. The snake country. Yeah. And what's this? The black fellow, we. That's the black fellow, you? Yes. Yeah. And this? Spear, or we have a spear. A spear. By law. Yes. And this? That's the little carpet snake. The carpet snake? Yeah, Yarrabri. Yeah. Son. Yarrabri's son. Mm. Uh-huh. And what's this? Rib bone. Yarrabri's rib bone. Yarrabri's rib bone. Yeah. So this, this tells the people who now come, the younger men, it shows them the way they must paint their bodies? Yes. Is that right? Uh, yes, really. It's right. And so... In many years to come, the Churunga will show to the young men uh, the way of custom. Yes, we have a uh, school. Um, yeah. school. It's like a school. S- school. Yeah. We tell every story on this meaning here. Yes. Now, they know, they'll be know when we die, they'll come read all about it and this cave, or that's what they had, all people have this meaning and story, and we'll have the ceremony the same way. And they'll have the ceremony the same, same way. way. Yeah. And so this is a, is a book. It's the book. And it's a law. Yes. It's Yarrabiri's law. Mm, Yarrabiri's a law. Not all Churungas are of wood. Some are of stone. The large one here, they say, is the tongue of an ancestral dingo dog. These stone tablets have been cherished by these people for generations. They are very sacred and also extremely secret. If an uninitiated person should happen to see them, by tradition, he would be hacked to death with the Churungas. An ironstone pebble is ground to produce red ochre so that the men may paint both the Churungas and their own bodies. Already the man his mind, filled with thoughts of the snake god, is moving his body in a snake-like way. As the men trace the patterns with their fingers, so the myths and the legends about Yarrabiri that explain the origin of mankind live in the men's minds. They are preparing for a ceremony in which the snake itself will come to life in mind. That unearthly sound is produced by this instrument, a bull roarer, a piece of wood inscribed with the sacred designs. The screams of the men and the shriek of the bull roarer 
are a warning to any women or youths to keep away from the ritual ground, for soon Yarraberry, the snake god himself, will appear. The man who will represent the snake is given a headdress of leaves, bound together with string made from twisted human hair. <laughs> The snake dancer has his body smeared with ochre and kangaroo fat. One of the old men cuts a vein in his forearm to draw blood. Slowly, the blood drips into a tin. Now the body of the snake god is painted with the old man's blood which serves as a glue on which to stick the brown and white downy seeds of a desert grass. The preparations take all morning, but at last everything is ready. The ritual itself can begin. With each movement of his body, the dancer imitates the actions of a snake shrinking from the touch of a stick. The ceremony itself is only one in a long series, which may last for several months, during which the young men of the tribe are instructed in the mysteries of the creation, into the stories and the myths of Yarabin. <laughs> It lasts a few minutes only. A touch and the spell is broken. 